Oh my goodness. I call mercy. Time to get some tractor power in. My back said no. I said, okay, I'll listen. Ready to take apart. So the way these progressive pumps work is it's a mechanism that allows us to pump um, solids in a sense. So it has to be able to handle little chunks of wax without binding it up inside and without mashing it all up into pieces. And this is what this mechanism does here. Maybe it's hard to understand. You look it up on Google and you'll see a bunch of diagrams and such. But basically what it is is kind of like a worm gear that goes through and it works itself within this stator. So this is the rotor and this is the stator. And as this kind of, it's offset and just kind of works around like that, it opens up a cavity and just progressively, very passively, pushes it along, around and up, and then forces it up through my honey hose. So we'll see if I can get this to turn. I don't have any lubricant in it right now. I just washed it out and it needs lubricant to be able to work properly. So I'll see if I can turn it. So this is the stator, this is the rotor. As it turns, you can see how this rotor moves in between the stator. And it draws in the honey, the slurry, And just kind of works its way through in a very passive manner. So it just kind of works its way through like the auger screw and then up through the hose. So it doesn't run very high RPM. Just nicely runs. It does the job all day long. And now it is ready. So this particular unit was built in Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. This is a Continental. Continental Progressive Pump. These are worth a fortune. Next on the list, I have to free up honey house. I gotta remove all this snow. I have to 
to get in to be able to pull out equipment. Like I'm pulling that honey pump out and uh, I have to be able to access that overhead door and move things out the forklift. I have some honey and storage in there I have to get to market. I have to just remove some of this congestion. But while I do that, I got to remember to myself how thorough was I cleaning up this area before the snow fell. And I'm pretty sure the only things I have to be careful of is what I see piled there. I'm pretty sure I picked everything up. I'm certain of it, but I'm bad for putting stuff on that side. So I guess we're going to find out, because I'm going to come right tight to the honey house here and get this huge drift. And whichever way, I guess the wind is going this way. So I should be able to blow it onto the road and then into the creek, which would be the best for it, then it's gone. So whichever way it wants to go, I'm going to have to take it. Oh, and hopefully not have to shovel this out in the morning again. The last few days I've had to shovel my way in and out of this place, like morning and evening. It ain't getting any warmer out there. spent. Very little casualty other than finding pieces of iron stuck in the snow causing me trouble. Found my barrow grabber. A skill saw and I pushed these off the track. I'll have to find some more rollers there. One, two, three. It needs a bit of an adjustment. Just a little nudge of the snow and it, the snow moves all at once. It's like a block. There, now I can move my honey. That's the last of it. Now I can do my inspection for rodents. I do a complete facility check every month. So I go through and check all the bait stations, all the traps, protecting my investment inside and out. Out there though, I'm not gonna be able to check those bait stations, obviously. Okay, now I can access my honey house again. I can start pulling out equipment. I feel a little more free, you know, look at this freedom, what can I say? <sighs> Winter just makes everything much more difficult.